Hello, kindergartners. It's Mrs. Belatesh. I'm outside at school. I was trying to find a good place where I could roll a ball down the ramp. So I found this little ramp that goes into a third grade classroom, and I wanted to see what happens when I roll my ball. While I walk up to the top, why don't you make a prediction with your teacher? Okay, I've got my ball, and I'm gonna just let it go. I'm not gonna push it. The ball rolled down the ramp because something was pulling it. I did not give it a push. Something was pulling the ball down the ramp. What was it? Yep, it was gravity. I've got my ball, I'm gonna roll it down the ramp again, and I'm gonna see what happens when it hits the bottle. Well, that happened exactly like it did with the wood blocks, right? The ball collided with the bottle and the ball pushed the bottle out of the way. I would like you guys to find a little hill or a ramp somewhere around your house or your neighborhood. Don't go outside without your parents' permission and get a ball and roll it down the hill. See what happens. Can you make it run into a bottle? Can you make it knock something over? Can you make it push something else? Have a lot of fun. Now we're going to go inside and I'm going to show you how to make a balloon rocket. Hello kindergarten students, it's Mrs. Belatesh and I made a balloon rocket. I have a straw on a piece of fishing line and it goes all the way across the room and then I taped my straw to a plastic bag so that the straw can slide on the fishing line. And now I'm going to take a, a long uh, oval balloon and I'm going to blow it up using my air pump. Boys and girls, it's really important to use an air pump and not your mouth when you blow up balloons because balloons can be a little dangerous. So I'm going to put the balloon in the ba bag and I'm going to start pumping it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift off! Wow! Isn't that fun? Let's talk about why the balloon rocket moves across the room. So I have my balloon, my air pump, and my balloon, and I have the bag, and right now it's not moving, right? It's just sitting still. But if I put my balloon inside and pump it up, when I pump it up, what am I doing? I'm pushing and pushing and pushing, and I am pushing air into the balloon. I am using force. And now that air is stored inside the balloon. It didn't get out. So now the energy from my muscles is stored inside the balloon. And when I let go of the balloon, that pushing force is going to push the balloon all the way across the room. Ready, go! Okay, boys and girls, I wanna do an experiment. I want to see if the number of pushes, of pumps of air that I put into the balloon, if that makes a difference in how far the balloon travels. So, I'm gonna start with just one pump of air. And we're gonna see. And we're gonna go all the way up to maybe 15 pumps of air. Okay, I've got a balloon. I have my air pump. I'm gonna pump it up just one time. One, that's it. All I'm doing is one pump. Let's see what happens. Oh, it didn't really move the, the balloon rocket at all. Let's skip one and let's do three pumps. One, two, three. Three pumps. Let's see what happens. Hmm, not much is happening. 
morning when I have just a few pumps of air. I don't think it makes my balloon big enough. Okay, let's try five pumps. One, two, three, four, five. Five pumps. Okay, it moved a little bit. So when we had one pump, it didn't move at all. Three pumps, I don't think it moved. Five pumps, it moved a little bit. So do you think, can you make a prediction what you think might be happening? What will happen with seven pumps? Okay, I'm gonna try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, definitely my balloon is getting bigger. Go! The balloon went farther when I had more pumps of air. I'm gonna keep going. So if I did seven, now I should do nine because I'm skipping a number in between. Seven, skip eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And each time my balloon is getting bigger. Ready, go. Wow, boys and girls, my rocket went much farther at nine. I'm gonna try it again. Come on back, rocket. Now I'm going to do 11 pumps. Because I did nine, I'm gonna skip 10 and I'm gonna do 11 pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. <gasps> it's very big. We'll see what happens. Can you make a prediction? Go. Wow, boys and girls, it almost made it all the way across the room. Here, we'll try 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh my goodness, it is so full. I'm afraid it's going to pop. Here we go. And go. Boys and girls, it made it all the way across the room. All right, so kindergartners, I'm outside with Hesser and he has got a, something called an air burst rocket. And he's gonna use force. He's gonna push down on the, on the air pump and the air is gonna go through the black tube and then up into the tube for the rocket. And inside there's a little piece of plastic that's gonna pop and it's gonna send a rocket high in the air. Okay, Hester, let's count. Go. One, two, three. Oh! In three pumps, it went up. Wow, it was so high. Okay, so this is where the little plastic sleeve is that's gonna make it pop. All right, go ahead. So you take off that little tube. And we just had one explode. So you see the hole was popped from the air pressure. Now, Hester is gonna put on a thicker one. So it's thicker plastic. My prediction is that it's gonna take more than three pumps in order for it to explode. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's a perfect one. So boys and girls, will you please get out your science journal? And we're on the last two pages of our science journal for this unit. This is the last day that we're gonna spend on learning about how things move and learning about wood and paper. It's been a lot of fun, but now we're gonna start something new. Go to this page and it says, where can balls roll at home? Well, I drew a ball going down a hill and I wrote down a hill of course they could also the ball could roll down some stairs 
or the ball could roll off a table. It's what you would like to write. And then after you finish doing that, on the next page, which is just our last page in our science journal, it says, how can we change how far a balloon rocket travels? And what did we do? What did I do to get the balloon rocket to go farther? I pushed in more air. So I drew a picture of my balloon rocket and I have the arrow showing that it's gonna go in that direction. And I said, push more air into the balloon. Wow. I had a lot of fun learning about wood and paper and why things move. Our next unit is also gonna be a lot of fun. See you next week, Cougars.